So, let's say you're walking down this little street in Jamaica Plain. And, oh, there's a fire hydrant. Didn't Lisa say something about a fire hydrant in front? But that's a big garden. There's no house there. There's no... How could this be? This is going to be right. We better go up and down the street again. But no, no, the number's right. Oh, well, maybe we should keep going. Let's, is, this, is this legal? Oh, my God. Oh, there's some roses. Okay. Oh, look. There's a dogwood tree. See that? Yeah, there's a dogwood tree. Oh, it's got a, it's got a little red tag on it. I guess it's going to go away. Maybe. Oh, it's the butterfly bush in bloom. Yeah. There's another apple tree. Oh, and some Adirondack chairs. Yeah. And then what do we have over here? Oh, we have a delightful planting. It's got some crazy Japanese fountain grass. And there's a lot of other spiria, spiria bush. And then there's this delightful cobalt planter. It's got a lot of sedum coming out of it. And it's it's got beautiful shells that somebody's planted. Oh, dandelions in. And somebody's also planted sedums. And then, oh my God, there's the raised beds and the sedum is in bloom. And God, this is just a fraction of what's going on. But there are these four raised beds. Well, what are they full of? They are full, I'm glad you asked. They're full of tomato plants. Look, I'm casting a shadow on them now. Tomato plants and, of course, many, many zinnia. Many, oh, many. Oh, many, many zinnia. A forest of zinnia. And big, fat sunflowers that have gone to seed, of course. And we've got some marigolds. Started, I believe, by the gardener herself. From seed, of course, because she's a cheapskate. More zinnia, more zinnia, more zinnia. They will go, and they will go, and they will go. And then what's this? Looks like it's supposed to be a driveway. I think it's supposed to be a driveway. Why is it covered with plants? Who would do such a thing to a nice driveway? And who would dump bales of hay, make them rot, and then plant eggplants in them? I hear these eggplants are the ones that the gardener gave up on. And now they are developing fat fruit and coming into bloom, of course. And more, more rotting hay in the driveway, what used to be a driveway, that stretches back and back and back and just has things planted in it. And there's more. This specimen, actually, this little tiny plant, that's a lilac tree. It's going to get very big. And here's the, here's the sour cherry tree. Here's one. Here's the other, other sour cherry tree. They flank the walkway. And, and then here, oh, there's lamium. There's tons of peonies. So many peonies. Somebody's crazy for peonies. And look here. We find some rubber gloves. Is there something kinky going on? There is... There's some compost being dug into trenches. And actually, I thought I'd stop and document some of this well, as you asked me to. There's my compost. There's my bins of compost. There's some newspaper. What did I forget? I forgot my bucket of pee. Here's the fence. Here's an apple tree. It's coming down. Golden delicious. Golden delicious. It sprays apples onto my neighbor's cars. And then, what is that? That is called a... Um, a sycamore maple. Terribly invasive. I thought it was a Norway maple for years, but it's a sycamore. There's a $500 fee for planting one nowadays, an arborist tells me. Next to it, I thought it was just another maple. I never really took a good look at it. But it's actually a linden tree. And it's in good shape. And the arborists are telling me to just leave it. Got some dead wood up top, but I'll come down. Here are some berries. Lisa has always planted many berries for the birds. Now they're up against the house, and it's got to go. The house must breathe. The house must breathe. Breathe. It must breathe. And there are spruces. Everywhere are spruces. She brought ten. And there are Japanese maples. And I lost things, and there is a crappy shed. And too much stuff. Then, of course, there's this little walkway. And there are all these potted plants.
What's she going to do with all those? Cram them into her front porch, maybe. Oh, good heavens. Other people's plants, they just kind of get left here, don't they? Yes, they do. And there, that. I don't think you can tell. I don't see any flowers right now, but it's a jasmine plant. It was given away as a party favor as a, on a, when a friend got married. This is a little plant I rescued from PC Week, which went on to become E Week. Nobody knew what to do with it. It needed love. I loved it. It flourished. This is my beautiful, whatchamacallit, geranium. And there are orchids sent up from my brother-in-law in Florida who breeds them. I finally figured out how to make them go. Here's a lemon tree. It's getting big. I better repot it. It's the offspring. It's a daughter plant of another one I have that I purchased and found that the, the, they're very easy to... Uh, start from seed. What is that? There's a beautiful begonia. Look at that. And over there, oh, dahlias. Tons of dahlias. And this is the seating area in my bike. Sad and unswept. In my hula hoops. And, and there's more. Oh, it's bright sunlight. The table. More container plants. More. And elephant ears. The beautiful dark kind and Gerber daisies and lilacs, stands of lilacs. There's so much you really can't say. You just kind of have to take the videographer, take her word for it, what is here. The grape vines, which were bearing sweet, seedless white grapes. I don't know if the birds have gotten them all yet or not. But the arbor has to be rebuilt. And next door, there's a house that's been made out of what was a garage, and now I have to go back to work, and I have to bury, I have to do my trench composting. So, that's my garden. That's a little bit of my garden, and that's my front door. Hello.